You're listening to the Culips English podcast. To download the study guide for this episode, which includes the transcript, detailed vocabulary explanations, real-world examples, and a quiz, visit our website culips.com. C U L I P S dot com. Hey, everybody. My name is Andrew. And I'm Suzanne. And you're listening to Culips. Suzanne, you're back. Yeah, I'm back. You went on a whirlwind trip to the west coast of the United States. True or false? Is that correct? That is true. <laughs> you are correct, sir. I did. It was almost three weeks of vacation, which was really nice. That's really nice when you get to take a little bit longer than, you know, the average two weeks. Absolutely. I don't think anybody's going to complain about a three week vacation. Sounds delightful. And yeah. what we'll do, Suzanne, over the next three episodes, actually, two chatterbox and one simplified speech is talk about your trip, what you did, what you saw, what you ate, all of these fun things. How's that sound? That sounds awesome. I can't wait. I hope it's exciting for you guys. <laughs> I'm sure it will be. Without a <laughs> doubt, it will be. I would like to let everybody know that we have a study guide for this Chatterbox episode, and it is available for download on our website, culips.com. Now, in the study guide, there are lots of great things that we have included that are specifically designed for Culips listeners. Things like transcripts and detailed vocabulary explanations and descriptions. There's a quiz. There are prompts that you can use for writing practice or speaking practice. So if you would like to take a look at that study guide, just visit culips.com. Awesome. So, Sue, yeah. tell us all about California. We're going to start by talking about California. Well, it's funny because um, when I got there, all I kept singing was that Joni Mitchell song, California. Mm -hmm. um, such a good song. It just really, for me, encapsulates the West Coast. <laughs> just laid back, sunny, chill. People are just nice. A good vibe. Just good vibes, yeah. Just you you feel like it's like a, a a hug from the Pacific Ocean. Um it's great. And um we landed in San Francisco and we spent a couple of nights there and that was that was great. It's a great city. Um definitely check out San Francisco. When you say we, who did you go with? Did you travel your friends, family? So it was just Olivier, my boyfriend, and I. Okay. We left Scotia home with a dog sitter, so he got to be in his own neighborhood and not feel like he was in a strange place. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we weren't so keen on taking him to the West Coast only because of all of the stories that we had been hearing about dogs on planes. We knew that the West Coast would be a great place for a dog because everything is dog friendly, mm -hmm. meaning dogs are allowed to go everywhere except inside restaurants. Okay. But every park, everywhere, everywhere. Wow. Yeah. But Scotia missed out. He'll have to wait for a different I know. opportunity time. to visit the West Coast. I think someday if we do like a month trip where we can have a week to really drive, you know, 
across Canada or the U.S., yeah. I think that would that would be cool. But I I just was worried about him under the plane, you yeah, know, in the in the holds. Does Scotia yeah. like riding in cars? He loves it. He okay. loves cars. Okay, yeah. so a road trip would be ideal then for him. He loves it. Yeah, he's it's like his favorite thing. So, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Well, you'll have to take Scotia on a trip to the West Coast sometime. But let's get back yeah. to your most recent trip yeah. here. And so you visited San Francisco. This is a place yeah. I've always dreamed about going to but unfortunately i've only been to the san francisco airport i never got outside of the airport so tell me what is san francisco like well it's a big city the thing that makes it unique is that it's on the bay right there's the pacific ocean there's the san francisco bay there's the golden gate bridge right iconic yeah so everything is you know, surrounded by all of this beautiful water and a lot of piers and uh, even wildlife just coming up onto the city piers, Mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. And it's also extremely hilly. You're really walking up and down, up and down hills in city streets. So your legs get tired. I've seen that on TV and in the movies, the streets are really steep. Really steep. (laughs) There's lots of like chase scenes that I've seen. Oh, it's intense. (laughs) On the movies with like skateboarders going down the hills of San Francisco and the cops not being able to catch them. (laughs) You know, it's so interesting that you say that. So for the first day, Ollie and I were like, man, how do these skateboarders and bicycle you know cyclists deal with these hills because I mean I have trouble just going up a little hill here in Montreal and we realized that they have electric bikes and electric skateboards so they're like they look like regular skateboards and bikes Mm -hmm. like you can pedal but there's also a motor, so you can switch it over into an electric motor that then will take you up the hill. And I'm sure that that's really beneficial because it's hard. It's really exhausting. Oh, that sounds like the best way to do it, I think. <laughs> yeah. Motor for the uphill and then gravity <laughs> for the downhill. Can't beat it. And I have to say one other funny thing about San Francisco. Sure. Sure. This is really true. Everyone in San Francisco is so nice. Really? And genuine. Yes. Every I've been to San Francisco about maybe four or five times. And in fact, I spent a little more than a month. When I was 17 years old, I studied for a summer in, at Stanford University. So that's more in Palo Alto, but I spent some time in San Francisco and I've n- every person I have ever met has always been so kind and funny and helpful. They love their city so much mm-hmm. and they love to share their information about their city. So we ran into a, a lady there. Mm-hmm. Uh, she was kind of our age. We were taking pictures and she could see we were tourists Mm -hmm. and we were trying to get a good picture of the Golden Gate Bridge and she leaned over and said, oh, that's Carl. (laughs) What? (laughs) And she was referring to the fog. So the fog that always hangs around the Golden Gate Bridge has a name and they call it Carl with a K. K-A-R-L. Carl the Fog. (laughs) Yeah. And Carl has his own Instagram. No way. But quickly, we left Mm. San Francisco. Mm -hmm. um, And we went southwest to Yosemite. Whoa. I've always wanted to go there. Oh, my God. It's amazing. It's so cool. I mean, it's really neat how you can drive just a few hours and you're in the desert. No doubt. That's so amazing. 
So cool. And in Yosemite, that's when they were ex- starting to experience a surge of the California fires. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about this because I talked to Jeremy, our other Culips host, who is based in California recently, and he said, Yeah. Yeah, the fire season, it's been bad this year, but hasn't been so bad. But what about your experience traveling in California? Were you affected? Because from what I've read, it's been really bad. Yeah, we were affected for sure. Uh, I'm wondering if Jeremy is in the south yeah, I part think he's, of California. He's uh, further south, yeah, I believe. Yeah, I don't think they were as affected this year in the south. I'm okay. not I'm I think this was more in the northern part of part of California and we were there for sure. And I can post pictures of our experience at Yosemite. There were parts of Yosemite that were super clear and beautiful and parts where you didn't even realize you were in Yosemite because you could not see anything in front of you because of wow. the smoke. Wow. Yeah. And how was the smell? Did all your clothes smell like campfire? Yes, it was really hard to breathe. So in fact, we weren't allowed to do many of the hikes. Mm. They, they closed them down because mm-hmm. if you have, you know, if you're climbing and you're breathing heavy, Mm-hmm. you will inhale all of that smoke and uh, it was a health hazard. So Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Also, if you can't see very well, you don't yes. want to be stuck in the desert. <laughs> that sounds yeah. like a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But there were some brave souls who still around dusk one day brought their mats and um, were about to do some bouldering Whoa. and some rock climbing. Yeah. Wow. And I was like, all right, well, good luck. Have at her. (laughs) Yeah. But that was an amazing trip out to Yosemite. And we stayed at this campsite where it was right on this beautiful lake. Mm -hmm. And in the back, you saw the sunset behind the mountains. And one day I saw a little, uh, there was a snake. It was like a desert snake. Yeah. And I... uh, I'm just, you know, more of a city person. So I kind of, I was like, oh, oh my gosh. I freaked out. A little surprised by the snake. Yeah. We saw so many animals um, in and around Yosemite, like foxes, coyotes. Wow. Deer and elk and like um, prairie dogs or marmot. marmot. I I call it a marmot. Yeah, marmot. Mm -hmm. That was cool. Nice. Well, Suzanne, I have to say, just listening to your trip here, I'm getting extremely jealous. You, you've done a trip that Aww. I've always wanted to do, <laughs> and it's visit California and rent a car and drive around. And yeah. I'm sure that there are tons of things you did that you didn't even get a chance to talk to us about today. And that's unfortunate, but we're out of time. I know. <laughs> but I do have one quick question for you before we take off. Yeah. And, and it's about food. We haven't talked about food yet. So what was the best thing and the most memorable meal that you had in California? In California? Yeah. It was actually in San Francisco um, at this Greek restaurant that was it's really expensive. Um starts with a K. I'm not going to remember, remember the name, but every person that I talked to in San Francisco, I said, it starts with a K and they're like, oh, this, yeah, that, that restaurant, it's really good. It's famous. So everybody knows it. Yeah. And, um, it was just exquisite. Everything we ate was so fresh and delicious. Mm. I also would say like the, the food in Sonoma, it's, just all organic and beautiful the strawberries at the you know farmers market that kind of thing everything is really uh organic and fresh and you know grown right there i'm not sure if people know but california is responsible for most of the produce in the united states and around in other parts of the world too but it supplies the us with like all of its lettuce all of a lot of its produce so um 
it's nice because it's very fresh. <laughs> you, you know, it's it's local. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, Suzanne, I think we'll have to leave it here for today. But thanks for telling us all about your trip to yeah, California. We didn't even talk about the redwood forest. Ah. I know. Oh, well, maybe we'll do that in another <laughs> big trees. episode. Just big trees. You have to go see them. They're huge and amazing. <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you, everyone, for listening. Once again, the study guide for this episode is available on QLips.com. If you want to get in contact with us, please just send us an email. Our address is contact at QLips.com. You can also find us on Facebook.com slash QLips podcast. And you can find us on Instagram at Qlips underscore English. Sounds good. <laughs> Everybody stay tuned for the next part in Suzanne's travel series. Suzanne, where are we going next? Oregon. Okay. So we'll see you in Oregon, everyone. Bye. Bye. Do you like listening to Qlips? If so, please show your support by leaving Qlips a five-star rating and a review on iTunes or Stitcher. This helps new listeners find the show. So don't delay. Rate and review today.